bell rings, so why not, uh, why not go inside? Kevin, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. I watched the video. Uh-huh. I have Ophelia stuck in my head now. Ophelia? Yeah. <laughs> what? This is the one. This is the Greek one. Daniel told me we had been down like a little bit. Just, just, it's scrolling. It gets better. There's more to it. What? There's more to it. Kevin, I recommend running. Oh boy. He's going all the way far. I guess we're learning college today in sociology. That's, uh, that's pretty lovely. The tripod that fits in your pocket. I, the tripod that fits in my pocket. Yeah. I do have a, I do have a tripod, but it's really long. Yeah. It's in my backpack. Just like a little tabletop. Oh yeah, those things. Yeah. Well, uh, shout out Kev Vlogs like usual. I saw him enjoying the baseball game yesterday. He caught a ball. I saw that. That was some good stuff, baby. Yeah. And we just walk around this campus, doing good. Follow me on SoundCloud like usual. My boy Kev, the best vlogger in town. No questions asked. Let's go. Yeah. Follow J Face yes, on SoundCloud That's and me. also on Instagram. Thank you. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, all right, so now we're gonna get to uh, lunch break. My favorite time of school. Also, in the presence of greatness, the mini mini referee crew, Hall of Fame referee Stephen Walker, is here tonight in the Gaucho Stadium as the head ref. Thank you, Stephen. All right, so we're here at Gaucho Stadium at the football field, and the boys lacrosse team is where I am attending to watch the C against Petaluma High School. Very, very important uh, message. Oh, hold on. The Gaucho lacrosse family received bad news recently that JD player John Arfali was diagnosed with cancer. Therefore, all proceeds from tonight's snack shop will be donated to John Arfali and his recovery in Kaiser Children's Hospital in Oakland. We wish him the best. Anyway, since I've already seen, since I have been seeing the girls lacrosse team a few times, so why not check out the boys? So, I'm excited to see them. Also, shout out to the team for hitting me up with this. <laughs> yes, yeah, another side ball, but it's a, it's a lacrosse ball this time. Look at this. This is so cool. Shout out to Joey Bukerwood for hitting me up and giving me this ball signed by everybody. As you can see, there, there's all the players, which nice I'll... Touch. Oops. Oh. Starting lineups. Hold on. We got starting lineups coming by. Okay, now, in here, this game is getting a little aggressive because in, in boys lacrosse, you can hit people, but you can't hit your opponent too hard because if you hit your opponent too hard, then I believe it considers a technical. But I don't know. I mean, I only know a little bit about. I for me, I I know a little bit about lacrosse since I've since I've seen the girls lacrosse game a few times. But in the boys lacrosse games, they're they're a little different. And um, right now, there's two minutes left. But the the thing is, oh, they scored. Goal! They scored another one! Holy smokes! You see? Alright. Gaucho's in the lead of 4-1. to one, And there are like nearly two minutes left. Uh, so right now, Gaucho, in case you didn't know, the boys lacrosse team, they're undefeated right now. Uh, and, and, what was, and as I was saying, like, they're a little different because the time, their time limit in the boys lacrosse team, they're 12 minutes, which I don't know why, because in the girls lacrosse, their time limit is 25 minutes, and they do halves. But for the boys, I don't know if they do halves, or maybe they do quarters, since since they have a 12-minute time limit. So I'm guessing that the boys lacrosse team, they do quarters. So who knows? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. But who knows? And and, and besides, this is my first time seeing a boys lacrosse game. So. 
so that's why I'm not sure about this. So, but all I can say is this is a little aggressive since you can like you're allowed to hit people, but but you can like hit them softly, but don't don't hit your opponent too hard. As you can see, I just saw I, I just saw one of the Casa players hit hit one of their opponents. Oh! <laughs> Miss, missed the shot. And I believe that's the coach. Oh, where'd he go? I just saw him. Oh, there he is. He's like right there. The one on the left, I believe that's the coach. I don't know. I never have not met the coaches. But I know the players. I know so many people that are in the team. Come on. Yeah! Oh my goodness, they're on fire! Five to one, and that shot that you just saw was made by Todd Evans. Todd Evans made the shot to make it five to one, and right now there are 15 seconds left. This is a good game right now. Oh, and how they and how they face off is they they uh, have their like their faces on the ground. Which that's a little different because in the girls they you know they do it like I guess they do a stand stand off. Well, wow, time's up now. Oh yeah, I was right. They do quarters instead of halves. So I'm right. What the the heck was that? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm right. So they do quarter, 12 minute quarter. So we'll have we will have four quarters. Oh boy, there's a two minute warning right here on second quarter. Uh, right now, Casa Grande is still in the lead, and a score, score of 9 to 1. They are on fire. I told you that the Casa Grande Gauchos are good. You know they're going to win the championship. Just watch. You know, they're going to have a perfect season. I know that. Perfect, perfect season. And a... Oh boy. Trojans using a timeout. Petaluma. So, anyway, as I was saying, you know, they're gonna have a perfect season this year, and you know, they're gonna have a perfect, you know, perfect games in the playoffs. Just watch. You you know that's gonna happen. I mean, come on. You know how good, you know how good they are. Hey. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Whistle blown. All right. There goes the time. We're only at a minute and a half left. Uh oh. Oh! Shot checked. Get him. Get him. Hit him. Oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Come on, you you got him. Hit him. Hit him. There you go. Hit him on the chest. Hit him on the chest. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now Costa has the ball now. Thirty seconds. Ryan Ramos. Look, look out. Come on, hit it. There you go. Yeah, hit his leg. One of the Casa players just hit one of the Petaluma players on the leg. Let's go. Ten seconds. Three, two, oh. Missed, missed a shot right there. Uh oh. Hey, whoa. Five seconds. One. Half time. It's nine to two now. Casa. This is All right. Good entertainment here. This is one quite of a halftime show. Oh, that's awesome. That's the, uh, these are the uh, River, Cat, River Cats lacrosse youth team from, this This is the youth team, seven to eight year olds, and they just did a halftime show for five minutes, and 
It's awesome. We are now up to all. Oh, I was going to say we're up to uh, third quarter now, and we only have like one minute on the clock left. And right now, the score for Casa is 14 to three. Holy smokes, this is a game right here. This is this is definitely worth it to watch. And uh, earlier uh, for Casa, we've been seeing goals from Todd Evans, David Grant. Ian Mc... Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, why would you do that? Like, are you serious? You had to knock someone... Yeah, do you really have to knock one of, one of our players over? Pretty much I, like, mostly vlog my, my daily life and stuff. Right. And, uh, yeah, I always, uh, attend to, to a lot of sports games and just, you know, well, I film. Know. And I see out there at our game, I just wanted to know where the information was going. YouTube. So, yeah. YouTube, Instagram as well. Uh -huh. Very cool. Yeah. So, how, do you have a bunch of followers or some followers, or do any of you know, or can you tell? Yeah, I have, like, I have, like, uh, I have, like, 105 subscribers on YouTube, cool. and, uh, I have, like, like over 450 followers on Instagram. There you go. Yeah. It's about 450 more than I have. So you need to get you need to get JJ. You know JJ right here. What? This guy right here in the red jacket. Oh, that's JJ. that's so he, JJ. So let me tell you who he is. Okay. He is the uh, he's the sports editor for the Argus Courier. Okay. You needed to get him in to get your name in there and get your uh, your channel up on there so that people can see who you are. All right. You know? Nice. And, uh, there he is. And JJ. The most fascinating cross story in North Korea I've ever seen. JJ, give us a wave. So that was good timing, you know? Yeah. Alright, we'll see you now. Yeah, see ya. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, we've been seeing goals from Ian McKissick, Josh Garcia, Todd Evans, and, um, wait, hold on. Josh Garcia, Ian McKissick, Todd Evans, am I, okay, I'm forgetting somebody, who, I'm, I'm forgetting someone. I, I should not be forgetting someone, who, who am I, oh, oh, and David Grant, David Grant. Oh, someone kicked a soccer ball here. I don't know, probably a, all right. That's the end of third quarter. Guys, this is fourth quarter now. The Gauchos only have a minute, uh, nearly a minute and a half left. Right now, the Gauchos in the lead of 15 to 3. I mean, they are on fire. They're doing a spectacular job right now. And it seems like they're about to get to, they're about to get another goal here to make it 16. Uh-oh. And now Petaluma has, has stole it. Ball. Trojans. For a ground ball. And there's only one minute left. And uh-oh, the ball's going all the way. Going on the other side. All right, Gauchos now have the ball. And them up. Oh, now the ball's going. To, now, now the ball's going to the other side. That, oh, oh crap. Now it's going the other way. Come on, 10 seconds left. Oh no. 10 seconds left, you gotta waste the time here. Come on, get him. Get, oh. Loose ball. Push. Five seconds left. Come on, you gotta win the game here. Throw your ball. Yeah. And time will expire. Woohoo! Final score, Gauchos 15, Drogan 3. Oh yeah. This the autograph uh, lacrosse ball, which that was totally surprised. Surprisingly unexpected. Uh, I didn't even know that I was gonna get. I was gonna get one of these. So, uh, shout out to Joey Bukewood who uh, gave me the ball. He he's the one that surprised me before the uh, game started. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, there are some of the signatures. So we got Todd Evans. He was on fire today, scoring a few goals. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also have Jeremy Bonner. Nice nice signature right there, number sixteen. Uh, Maverick Guggins put uh, his first three letters of his name, Mav, with the number 11. Uh, we also have, let's see, we got Jack right here. We saw uh, number 10. Uh, let's see, Josh Garcia, number 2. Let's see, where is it? There it is. 
And let's see, we got Billy, Billy Bukerwood right here, number six. Let's go to the top, top of the ball right here. Um, let's see, am I pointing it? Uh, yes, there it is. If you can, if you can see right here, that's Caden Fleming, Fleming, with a nice signature right there, number twenty-one. And there's Joey Bukerwood who gave me the ball, number four, right over here. Um, Jaden Bosarge, there it is, right here, number seven. Uh, we got. We got Dom Giomi, number 23. And let's see, we got Pierce Oldwell right here, number 8. I almost got everyone in here, which is pretty cool. Now, adding that up with the signature baseball that I got on um, Tuesday. Tuesday, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, got this and this. Autographed base baseball from the Casa Grande varsity baseball team. And an autographed lacrosse ball from the boys varsity lacrosse team. How cool is that? Definitely adding up to the collection. Ooh! Oh, man. You know what? This lacrosse ball smells nice. I mean, come on. Smell it. Smell it. Ah, you can't smell it. Anyway, let me smell the baseball. Oh, oh, we. Oh, man. This baseball definitely smells new. I mean, come on. Look at this. It's so clean. Yeah, th these two definitely... A collection. Here, I'll show you a collection of all the baseballs right here. See? Ha! <sighs> well, here we go. Add up to this collect this autograph baseball up to the collection. And, uh, well, even though this is not a baseball, but it's still gonna add up to the collection here. Look at that. Dang. All these collection of balls. And also adding up with the spring training. Official spring training baseball that I got at the Giants game, uh, where the Giants took on the Oakland A's back in 2017 at AT&T at, at Oracle Park. This was uh, one of the baseballs I got from uh, former Giants outfielder Jared Parker. And also adding up to that, official Major League Baseball that I got at the game too, a game used baseball by also for, by former Giants outfielder Gorkis Hernandez. He was using this ball for a warm-up. And also adding up to that collection is some uh, autographed baseballs from the Sacramento uh, Rivercats. Let's see, which one should I start off with? Start off with this one. Um, this one, uh, this one I actually I actually bought this ball at, uh, at the uh, Rivercats shop in uh, Rayleigh Field in Sacramento. And, you know, I thought having the players to autograph it. So, right here, this is uh, Chris Shaw, who's currently with, well, he's with, he's on double A right now in Richmond. So, but I got to see him in um, Sacramento at Rayleigh Field and also at Oracle Park at the Giants game last year. So that was pretty cool. And this one, signed by Ryan Lowless, which, who's a former Rivercats player. I don't know where he is right now, but, you know, I got him an autograph. I got his autograph anyway, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's see, next one. This one, I also bought it at the uh, Rivercats shop in Rayleigh Field in Sacramento. And as you can see, there's like a lot of people. Signed it. There's Miles uh, Schroeder, which I don't know where he is right now, but I know he he was with the Rivercats last year, and I got to meet him. Sometimes I don't recognize the signature, but I know one of them was from Kelby Tomlinson, who's a former Giant. He's now with the Arizona Diamondbacks, but right now playing in AAA with the Reno Flying Aces. Not only that, but Brandon Belt's signature, who's the first baseman with the Giants, signed this ball for me as well. He had a rehab assignment last year with. Sacramento, and I thought it's cool to get his autograph. And uh, also Cesar Puelo, who's now with the, who's an outfielder, uh, now with the Angels. I think this is his signature right there, but I don't know. Here's uh, Matt Gage, who was a pitcher for the River Cats. I don't know where he is r right now. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's still with the River Cats or somewhere, or he may be somewhere else, but I don't know. Okay, so these two baseballs, I got him uh, not at a baseball game, but also somewhere at a f like some festival. In Napa. Alright. And now we get these. This definitely adds up the collection. So, first up is the World Series Baseball signed by Joe Panic, the second baseman for the Giants. I got to meet him at Petaluma at the uh, at a sports memorabilia shop in downtown Petaluma called the Strike Zone. And, you know, they did a... There was a meet and greet after, like, one of the games that I went. It was, uh, I think it was, like, back in July or August, when the Giants played against the Cardinals last year. And yeah, and after going to the game, you know, we immediately went back to Petaluma, went to downtown, go to the Strike Zone, sports memorabilia shop in downtown, and 
get to meet Joe Panic, and there we go. Got his autograph, World Series Baseball. And not only that, also as a birthday gift, he gave me this uh, autograph signed jersey for my birthday. And look, it said Happy Birthday Kevin on it. You know, my birthday was back in September, and this is what he gave me as well. And look, it's framed. How cool is that? Autograph Derek Rodriguez. Baseball, who's a starting pitcher for the for the Giants. Uh, this was actually the baseball that he pitched at his major league debut with the Giants. As you can see, MLB debut. The date, May 19th, 2018. And this one, well, just a playing official major league baseball. And this one is just a playing uh, official ball for the Pacific Coast League, which is the uh, Sacramento Rivercats that are on in AAA. So yeah, uh, for the Rivercats, this is the kind of baseball that... Uh, they use. And this one, well, I still consider it as a collection because, you know, it's a baseball. Uh, also got it in Sacramento. Anyway, yeah, well, uh, this is definitely collector's item here. So, and now I'm going to end off the vlog. So, if you like the vlog, make sure to thumbs it up and also subscribe my uh, channel if you haven't uh, subscribed yet. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.